guys welcome to today's video it's your boy divine and i bring your way something very exciting we are creating a free vps from google's cloud service we'll link it with a, a host name that is also free from no ip and, and so everything here is going to be completely free it's ideal for students who don't have a budget or professionals who are just trying how things work out like you just want to practice you don't need to pay a lot so i'll just search for free google vps server and then um, as you can see here you can see that google is offering free service for 90 days and uh, the account is worth 300 dollars and so you get in there you get to build anything you you want within the budget of 300 dollars and then you get to keep it for 90 days and so you don't get charged even though you you put in your card details during sign up you don't get charged until you opt in for paid paid uh, service if you don't migrate your account from from free to paid google doesn't charge you automatically and that is the very good thing so we'll head straight yeah i think i'm, I'm logged in already you if you are a new user you need to sign up and the process is very very simple um so let's try it in console yes this is taking a little while okay yeah so you want to quickly find compute engine compute engine is what you use to create your vms gpus and other stuff yeah so i'll create this okay yeah so as you can see i don't have a, an instance of a vm i don't have any vm so i'll create one okay so i've been giving i've been recommend uh, the recommendation google gave me is the is this particular image and then they look at your credits that is the 300 dollars that i have and then they recommend a particular image and you are not limited to using this image you can change it to something else just that you need to make sure uh, what you are choosing is within budget so this one is 72 dollars yes and it's more and then i get a notification that uh, you might not have enough quota for this vm meaning um, within the 90 days i might go over the budget of 300 dollars and then when if that happens i'll be required to pay before i keep using the vm uh -huh. i don't want that to happen so i'll just go back to what google recommended for me from the beginning yes yeah, so i'm back to my 24 dollars uh, but then i can even change this i can even strike it down i can select a a, a, a less powerful one this one is it comes with one gigabyte of memory instead of four gig memory and so the price is now 6.5 dollars that means i can create a lot other vms i can create more vms within the same budget within the same 90 period so you you scroll down to the firewall side for the settings and you need to allow http traffic and then https traffic because turning off any of these that's the http or https traffic means none of those traffics or none of those protocols can be used to communicate with your vm but you want to allow all of those and then you also want to allow load balancing health check as well yeah so i go ahead to create the the instance um this is taking a little while yes we'll just wait for it yeah i i won't be needing any of this so let me hide them and wait
okay so our vm is ready yeah the green tech shows is ready so let's let's copy the public ip that has been assigned this is what other computers online use to communicate with your server so we'll copy it and then try and look it up yes we get a fall for we, we get we get an error page and that is because um most of these vms don't come pre-installed with a, a web server like apache or nginx or any other web servers out there so that is why you can't access their vm so your site is your vm is is up but then it is not live it's not communicating so we want to create that we'll sign in with ssh so we are signing in with ssh okay let's up we authorize it google will do a quick authentication and then continue yes now we are in this is server this is how the interface look so first thing you would want to do is to um update so let's update it so do apt update update it quickly yes yeah that's a quick update now we want to install a web server and i prefer nginx a lot of people might want to go with apache that's 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 uh, dependent on your preference i prefer nginx because i've worked with it for a while so i'll just type sudo apt install nginx yeah okay okay so nginx is installed That's great. I have Nginx now. Yeah, so we'll check the status. Sudo's service Nginx status. Oh, sorry for the typo. I'm correct this thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we as you can see, Nginx is active and it's running yeah but then sometimes when you check it could be it could be off it won't be running so you use the command sudo service engine x start so that should get your vm started uh, that should get your engine x sorry engine x started yeah then now let's check the configuration we are checking if the syntax in those default files are correct uh, mostly we do this when you make changes like you 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 connect it you you write your custom uh, files but then we just will go ahead and check it anyway sudo so nginx dash t and then we get yeah syntax is okay everything test is successful yeah so now we will head we'll head back to the browser and then refresh the ip address that we pasted oh i think there might be some sort of a typo here um hold on hold on hold on hold on let me check let me copy this all over again copied and let me paste it here and go yes yeah yeah hooray yeah so now the the server the server is up yes our server is live yes so this is the default nginx page that is what you get when you freshly install nginx and haven't connected it to any application like you've not deployed any application and connected it to nginx so this is online yeah so we'll try and then create a domain name on no ip that is a free domain name and then link it with the server so up next we'll be creating a no ip host name which is also free by the way just like i said in the beginning of the video and we are going to link it with this server 
so you don't have to use the ip address to see whether the server is live you enter a, a, a particular url like example project.com or something else that you choose and then you'll be able to get access to the default nginx page so uh, if you like this content if you feel it's helpful please like the video share and then subscribe and don't forget to drop some comments as well thank you so